guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be looking at the, or we're looking at two things actually, uh, the Geek Vape Obelisk 65. Now this is the 65FC, which stands for fast charging. And this is just the 65, 65. Uh, now, a couple of things to point out straight off the bat. Uh, two separate devices. Uh, things you will notice is that uh, straight away out the box, the FC comes with this cable, okay? It comes with this cable, and the 65 comes with this cable. The, the main reasons for this is that if you want to charge the normal one, then yeah, you just plug in a USB-C in there, you can charge it at two amps, it's a 2500 milliamp hour battery in here, and charge away to your heart's content, and it works like a normal mod. Now the FC, on the other hand, because it's the fast charging one, this actually charges at three amps, um, so it only takes 18 minutes to charge this fully, if you are using the proper power brick. Now, that fast charging power brick does not come with the device, uh, but you also get this cable because you can do OTG charging. So you can actually charge other devices from this mod using this cable, USB-C, however. So just to be clear, fast charging. This has two 1100 milliamp hour batteries, pretty sure they're in series, and charges in 18 minutes using the appropriate device. Uh, charging it at two amps using just my standard charger here, I get it in about 40, 45 minutes and it's fully charged. Or just the plain 65, once again, has a 2500 milliamp hour battery in it, still a 65 watt device, but you cannot do OTG charging. Aside from that, everything else between these two mods is exactly the same. So I'm going to take the 65, I'm going to put that to one side, and we're going to concentrate on the 65 FC. Now this one here is one that I have been using. Uh, this, I think I've got about just about 600 hits on it. I've been using it for the past week or so. Uh, it comes with two coils. You get a 0 0.2 ohm coil, which does a recommended, a recommended range of 50 to 58 watts. You also get a 0 0.4 ohm coil, which does 25 to 35 watts. Once again, that's recommended range. I would strongly suggest that when you put your coils in, brand new coil in, always turn the wattage down really, really low and build it up. You want to break that coil in. Especially watch out if you use smart mode because uh, it may put you into a high power range automatically. So just something to bear in mind. So obviously as it's Geek Vape, there are many different colors available and this is, they sent me four the same. So I can't show you any other ones outside this photo that will splash up just now. Uh, I should also point out that the, the FC does have a different button on it. It got a different button on it there. Uh, but yeah, that's it's a pod mod. And if you've got the TPD one, then it's only going to hold two mil of juice. If you don't have the TPD one, then it's going to hold four and a half milliliters of juice. I do not know if you will be able to remove the bung that will be inside it. I don't know how the design works, but uh, yeah, that's maybe something that somebody else can show you later down the line. So our pod, we have a 510 drip tip up the top here. There's no um, O-rings or anything on here, and it's it starts off as a, a tightish fit, but the, the one that I've been using, I mean, it just, after a while, it just seems to get really, really loose. So that's, um, yeah, not too impressed with that, but a 510 drip tip will fit in there. We have an adjustable airflow here, and uh, just only goes so far in either direction, like that. We have a fill port here, which is really, really easy to fill. Uh, I've got to say that, no issues filling this one whatsoever. Uh, the only thing I will say right now is that, God damn, it's a dark, that's a dark material, this one. And when you're out in the day, in the daylight, and uh, you know, you're, you're wanting to fill this or see the fill level, then it's, it's too dark. And it's just, you have to take the pod out every time to check the fill level, which, really does bug me. Uh, it's held in with magnets, just like that, and it's no movement there. I have no issues with the pod and the way it fits in there. Also, condensation. I, I'm, I mean, I've been chugging away in this 
quite a bit and um, I've not been getting any serious condensation at all but I would say to you as always make sure that you keep everything dry and clean in here. When you get it, it's going to come with the 0 0.2 ohm coil fitted in here already. Uh, we want to take that out and um, just, yeah, you can see that this this little tool here that you get with the, the usual Geek Vape stuff, it's, it's, it's not exactly the best, it's not designed, you can't get in at it really. Uh, so just using the back end here and just pops out like that. I'm going to take the, the 0 0.4, as always with the B-series coils, you know, it's, it's marked on here and you've got the, you know, wattage ranges and so on. And I'm just going to get this lined up with here and just pop it in and it should go down, no problem. There we go. I'm then going to fill this with some juice and we'll put this to one side because, being brutally honest, uh, I've not used this coil. I've only been using the 0 0.2, so it'll be nice to see if I can get more of a restricted direct lung from this one uh, because obviously the 0 0.2 is more for a very, very loose restricted direct lung or a direct lung with this device. I know not everybody's necessarily interested, but uh, we'll just check the weight on this and there we go. So it's not the, the lightest device on the market, but I, I, as always, just being honest, I find it to be weighted quite well. I, I don't actually mind having this in my pocket or carrying this about all day. The mod itself has, um, has been dropped, as usual. I drop everything a couple of times and the finish is holding up so far. Um, and on the base, we have this. And we have, once again, we have this here. You know, you can just the USB-C there. And it's, it's it's been doing well. It has been doing well. Now, the board, uh, I'll clean up my screen here and we'll have a good look at the board. Now, the button's on the stiffer side. We've got the up and down button here. I don't have an issue with the fire button, but it's uh, just one, two, three, four, five. And Geek Vape, and here we go. So... I'm at 36 watts just now. You can see how many puffs I've had, the voltage, and you've got the resistance as well for fire there. There we go. Now, if you want to get into modes and so on, it's just three clicks, one, two, three. And then you can see that it kind of changed color there. And if I push the buttons, then it's going through the different modes. Uh, we have the smart mode, as always, that basically means that it's going to limit the power output depending on the resistance of the coil that you put in here. We've got the power. Once again, this is a 65 watt device. We can do three clicks here again. One, two, three. And then we can go on to our temperature control settings, which... Did it even do a temp control coil in the B-series? I, I don't know if they do. Um, so I'm... I'm do you know, I'll, I'll be honest, I'm going to have to go and check that because uh, I, I find it strange that, um, you know, they're going to include temp control in this if they don't have temp control coils. I may be very wrong in that one, but I'll double check it. We also have our VPC, our variable power curves. Uh, obviously, you can change the way this vapes. You know, you can get it so that it ramps up at the start and at the end tails off, that kind of thing. And that's been with Geek Vape for a while now. We've got bypass mode where it's just going to dump all the power that's in the battery. It's like a mech mode, if you like. It just, whatever power's in the battery, it's just going to put it straight out to the coil. And the last one on the FC is the OTG. If you want to charge your mobile phone from this. So you're going to use this as a, a battery pack, basically. Uh, so that are it's all the menu options and the settings that you have available to you. If you look here, you can change the clear your puff counter. If I just do my three clicks, one, two, three, make sure I get that. Then hit the fire button again. See how the resistance is highlighted. Hit that again. It's going down to puff. Hit the minus and it has zeroed it out. As always, you can hold the plus and minus buttons like this and you can lock these. So you're still going to be able to fire, but you've locked this. See, like that. Just hold them again and we should unlock. Another thing you can do is you can do one, two, three, again, going to here, and then hold the plus and minus button, and uh, we're going to go through different colors like that. So there's lots of different colors that you can use on the theme as well. As always, you can hold down the fire button and the plus button here, and you're going to get, uh, you know, you can go in and you can move the brightness up and down, I just leave it at 100%. It's nice and clear, this screen. Really nice screen. 
And that is about it for the, the Obelisk 65 and 65C. So there you go, that's it for the Obelisk 65 and 65 FC. Now, once again, two very similar mods, as in they pretty much have the same board, they do the same thing and so on and so forth. The differences are the batteries are different. The FC has two 1100 milliamp hour batteries in it, so 2200, whereas just the 65, the plain 65, has one single 2500 milliamp hour battery in it. The FC, you can charge it very, very quickly, 18 minutes to charge it from dead if you have the appropriate power brick. That's the only way it'll work. If you don't have the proper power brick, then it's going to take, well, 18 minutes at its best, but then you'll be looking about 40 minutes, half an hour, 40 minutes, if you're just charging it at two amps. I found with the plain 65 charging that, that is about the same, maybe five, 10 minutes more. You can use the 65 FC as a power bank as well. So that's something else that's different. And the FC has the different button on it as well. Looking at them, that's the only way you'll tell the difference is the fact that it has a different button on it. And obviously they come with two different connectors as well, but that's because the FC works as a power bank. Juice capacity is 4.5 milliliters unless you are getting the TPD version, which will more than likely have a bung in it. As I said in the close-ups, I don't know. I've not seen the one with a bung in it. I don't know if it will be removable or anything like that, so I can't give you that information. And for that, I apologize. As far as it goes vaping with them, uh, they, they, they both vape the exact same. You get the 0 0.2 and the 0 0.4 ohm coil. They do come with recommended wattage ranges on how you should be vaping with them, but I can't state this enough. When you put a new coil in it, prime the coil, turn the wattage right down to about 15 watts and adjust to taste. You don't go off numbers, forget the numbers, just keep slowly increasing the wattage until you get to the flavour and vape that you want. Uh, because, yeah, if you just go off those numbers, you'll just burn out the coil really quickly and it'll cost you money. And you don't want to do that. Now I'm going to start off with 0 0.4 ohm coil and uh, I'm at 25 and the recommended range is 25 to 35. Uh, I have the airflow fully open and... Yeah, it's all the air, all the air you're ever going to need and that's not how I want to vape this so I am just and no more am I opening up that air hole there. I mean I have, it's just open a crack and it's still, we all have different interpretations of what's direct lung, restricted direct lung and so on, but to me it still feels with it just being cracked open a little bit and the zero point four ohm coil, it still feels like a really, really loose restricted direct lung, almost direct lung. Uh, so 25 watts. Can't fault the flavor. Both coils, um, lifespan out of the coils as well is really good and the flavor is off the bat, yeah. I like the B-series coils, I think they are superb. This at 25 watts is maybe not giving the best flavour, I think I'm going to stick it up to 30 and... That's better, that is far better. Uh, so if you're looking for mouth to lung or a, a tight restricted direct lung then it's, it's not really for you, this one, I, I wouldn't recommend it. If you like more air than that, then I think you'll get on great. Now the 0 0.2 recommended range is 50 to 58. I, I've been vaping it, honestly, I've been vaping it closed right down at about 35 watts most of the time, and uh, that's been working great. I've been getting pretty good flavor. Uh, I'm now at 45 watts and uh, just opening it up a little bit more and it's, oh, it's all the air. It's lots of air and see the flavor still good in that and that ha that's had about 600 hits on that coil and the flavor is still good. Uh, it tailed off a little bit but 
still acceptable. Uh, so as far as that goes, I have no complaints. Once again, the, the, the one thing I want if you know, if you know, um, then please comment below because I don't think they do a temp control B series coil. I, I'm, I'll hold my hands up in the air if I'm wrong. Uh, so the fact that that might be the case, I find it strange that it has temp control on it because it's not like if you've got a, an RBA section for it that I'm aware of, or there may be an RBA section coming for it, uh, who knows, but um, yeah. I just thought I'd drop that one in there. Um, the actual, the pods themselves, dead easy getting them in and out, no no issues there. No worries with leaking or condensation. It's been really good on that front. Uh, the only thing I don't like is that seeing the fill level is a bit of a pain in the backside. Uh, it's just too dark as far as I'm concerned and I, I think that's a bit of a con. And it's a shame because it's really easy to fill it up. Also, the drip tip is just, you can see that over time, it just gets really loose. But if I take one of my own drip tips with O-rings on it, it's in there, no problem. So that's, you're gonna have your own drip tips. So that's that's great. Obviously with the 65FC, you've got the OTG charging, the power bank thing. I've gone over the charging and so on and so forth. You, you know all this now. I will state that the, the batteries that are in the 65FC, they have undergone two, two, TUV uh, testing, uh, so official testing. So they have been tested for fast charging capabilities. So that's that's a good thing in itself that it's been you know got that certification. I mean, outside that, it's just pros and cons. Hard. The, the bullet points are, it's if yeah, vape wise, flavors great. It's not going to be for anybody that likes a tight, a restricted direct lung. You've got to be loose restricted direct lung and direct lung. That's that. That's. I wish the maybe the zero. There's a zero point six ohm uh, B series coil. Maybe that will have a, a narrower diameter bore inside it and, and allow you to get a bit more of a tighter vape. But it didn't come with any of those coils, so I can't tell you. Uh, I just wish, as a pod system, you could get it tighter because obviously it's a sixty-five watt device and. If you're going to be vaping it, you know, like 45, 55 watts, what, you know, the 0 0.2 ohm, that, that, that's not giving you a lot of battery life, to be fair. Uh, but all in all, I really like it. It's a bit of a kicker that the FC does not come with that power brick that lets you use that 18 minute charging. But that's an expensive power brick and it would just, it would put the price of the mod right up through the roof. Uh, and to be fair, most folk these days, well, possibly shouldn't say this, have a, a power brick for their phones that gives fast charging and can probably just use that on it instead. But thank you to Geek Vape for sending these on. Thank you to you for watching. Please go and watch other reviews. There are lots of other reviews out for this already. They usually go out at the same time. Uh, watch them, see what other people are saying. And until next time, bye for now.